Now, in recent years, there's been increased scrutiny of police tactics in France, particularly the use of the rubber balls that can break limbs and even cause blindness if somebody's hit in the eye. Well, France 24's Shirley Sitbon has been looking into the issue and she joins me now. Shirley, first of all, tell us more about these large rubber balls or bullets, depending on how we translate them. How do they work and, and what the risks are? Well, we can see images of how they're being used and how they're being displayed also in some uh, police offices. Uh, basically, yes, the rubber bullets that are supposed to be shot from afar. Officially, uh, French police, French gendarmerie, they're not supposed to use them unless they're uh, at risk, a threat, unless somebody is in imminent danger. But what critics are saying is that they're used more than that, not just in extreme cases. So what are they? They replace another weapon, which was used before. So it's called a flashball. That's the name of the company that issued them. Also, rubber bullets. But the problem is that the, the injuries uh, that they generate are extremely severe. Uh, those injuries uh, can be like uh, some members are being torn, arms, uh, people lose their eyesight, they're scarred for life, they're obviously traumatized. And uh, observers and many uh, people and also the Council of Europe are saying that this is too much. It's disproportionate in protest. You shouldn't be able to use that kind of weapon. Uh, and we've seen this being used more and more. You've said dozens of cases of people being scarred for life. Another thing that is uh, also put forward is the fact that they're not precise at all. Uh, yeah, we can see some images here when they're being uh, used and people uh, who were injured they're not precise, and when the police or security forces in general use them, well, maybe they're aiming at one target, but they're actually hitting someone completely different. And we've heard stories of people who were just passers-by, journalists who were interviewing someone, and they, they were just shot at. They got one of those uh, rubber bullets, uh, and they were not the target initially. So those accidents happen, and that's some of the criticism we've been hearing. And why aren't they banned? Because they are banned in a number of other European countries, aren't they? Yes, they are. But in France, uh, for a while they were banned, but they were you know reauthorized. Uh, and uh, the government and the parliament as well uh, decided to authorize them because they said sometimes the situation is too extreme, too violent, too brutal uh, for uh, police and to in order to uh, restore calm and security. They need to use extreme measures, but only when it's really necessary. Uh, that's one of the reasons. We can see some images of a change in the situation in France. Uh, authorities are saying that back in the 20th century, protests were calm and there was no need to use those extreme measures. At the time, um, at the time, what was seen is that, uh, well, there were just basically unions and people, masses of people protesting without those groups we're seeing today. But everything changed with the protests in Seattle. I don't know if you remember those uh, and those uh, against the World Trade Organization. And that's when some groups emerged among the many protesters, peaceful protesters. There were groups who targeted security forces, and that came to France as well. And since uh, the 21st century, in recent years, there were more and more of those groups that interfered with legitimate protests. And that's why security forces just brought in all of these uh, tougher measures, which many have been uh, criticizing. And as you've said, uh, in other countries where they're not always used, there are other methods. And opponents, Shirley, of these rubber bullets will say, look, we're not really criticizing, or in most cases, we're not criticizing the officers themselves for using these. We're rather criticizing the kind of security political environment that allows them to be used. Exactly. It's a series of police tactics which actually cause an escalation. Their goal is to limit the violence, limit destruction, uh, block uh, violent groups from getting to across some cities and ca causing chaos. But in fact, they're actually causing an escalation. Uh, that's what some critics have been saying. And they point to other countries, in Northern Europe mainly, where uh, there's a greater focus in training of police uh, and security forces into de-escalation, into talking and trying to persuade protesters it's not 
not easy, of course, but there are tactics, and apparently they're not used as much in France. So um, critics have been saying that maybe the French uh, officials uh, who have thought about how they can stop the cycle of violence, well, if they can look into that direction and try to modify, of course police have to protect themselves and sometimes the situation is violent, but they have to widen their range and find other solutions because this just can't happen in every protest. Shirley Sitbon, thanks very much indeed.